50, 40, 30, 20. Good morning everybody, this is the day after, so if you saw episode 1 or 2, then you'll have an idea why I'm doing an episode 3. I'm not going to do a full flight now, I'm just going to do a circuit. I have decided to do some circuit training after the landing performance in Hamburg last night. I have also mentioned in the comments below the video a few things I have thought about, discovered and changed. So without further ado, we're just going to see if it all has had uh, uh, any <coughs> uh, fruit uh, to bear for me. So let's have a go. Park break off. This is runway uh, 23 where we landed last night. It's exactly the same weather file. Uh, last night it was live weather, but I saved it. It's also in my OneDrive, so you guys can grab a copy if you want to practice the same. And let's see. I don't know, you can feel it. You can feel it. This is all done by hand, nothing on the autopilot. So, with this weather, it's going to be a bit tricky to get back on the ILS. Those of you that know will know, and those of you that don't know, go try it. You'll see. It's, uh, it's amazing how difficult it can actually be. But one good thing is this aircraft is very lovely to fly by hand and the fly-by-wire really works very well. So we're going to do our best with all the limitations given to us uh, with weather and um, see what we can do. Stick it around one five, and I want to go too much higher than that. So, let's see. Go back on the power there. Magnetic uh, 47 degrees, that is the downwind heading. I to make the circuit too shallow. Second. Right, that has put us now on a downwind course. Speed check, laps three. So instead of a nose up attitude, let's just drop uh, one notch flap so we get a little bit of pitch. Marker audio off, 
not really interested in that. Okay, turning base. Setting of duty seven. Duty seven. Oh, that's a bit of a shallow bank. Just a little bit more right. That was a bit much. Just realised that localizer still needs to come in. slope as well alright that looks almost perfect well guys now the trick is to try and keep it there and it's not that easy but we shall try our best I'm just going to slide down a little bit I see we're gaining swing there but what we want Checked. Flaps full. I want to forget the flaps again. Alright, come on, level out. Approaching two, three. Right, there is Five the hundred. runway. Four hundred. 
300. So we try again. This time I'm just going to keep the speed up a little bit and instead of hitting 114 going below I'm just going to try around about there maybe a little bit closer to 140 but I don't want to go below 140 then let's see if we've got better control so all part of the learning curve.
speed check. Flaps full. Seat. There is the sink right there and uh, the sink a little bit. Let's see, get my hand off the rest here. Let's see if we can do it better. much better 222 but it's much smoother more horizontal on the wings and everything the roll is better oh, that's cool going to do another one let's see if we can get two out of three uh, beta landings I'll be happy So the extra power uh, and extra speed did help, obviously the aerodynamic uh, responses and, uh, and so on, uh, the control is much better. So for my landing weight, I need to keep that speed up and then I need to pull back on the power, so a little bit earlier than usual, so that was better in the last run. Guys, I've said it many times, I've seen it in the real world, I've experienced it and um, I want to share this little nugget with you as well. If you really want to learn an aircraft, if you really want to get very proficient with it, go do circuits. Forget about the autopilot, it doesn't matter what aircraft it is, just go and fly circuits, get some practice. If I continue like this, and I'm just realizing now, I never even switch the wipers on. If I continue like this, I can do better streams and then not feel like an ass when I land every time. And guys, <coughs> sorry, guys, make sure you get the correct pitch sensitivity in your controller setup. It is of the utmost importance. Um, I actually went from 50% down to 35% and I tell you it makes the world's difference on my PC and I can only wish you the best of luck finding your sweet spot. Uh, when I made my previous video and I showed 50% that was obviously in good weather and that Approaching worked three, three. but when you have winds and rain and all these things that we have now today I was oversteering and I was overcorrecting and the 50% wasn't good enough so I also learned something and you can see that the results speak for themselves in weather like this it's much better control now spoilers armed all right so spoilers are armed and just for the hell of it we're gonna set our brakes like we should them in the air again okay guys well hopefully this is the last circuit 
but in the tradition of keeping it real and not pulling an ordinary youtuber on you and only showing you the good stuff I'm I'm really trying to keep it real because a lot of you guys are gonna go through the same thing and then you might get upset or might lose interest or whatever the case might be Approaching two, and I really three. just want to encourage you to really practice 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 On runway two, three. All right, let's go. I can only presume it's because we didn't program a proper flight plan. You know, this computer doesn't understand what we are doing. Sorry, boy. Don't know what you're on about. Just chill. Well, at least he's trying to warn us, so we can't fault him with that. Right, so now we're looking for 47 degrees again. So now it's not going too shallow. So we're nicely in the milk. I think this is good IFR training weather. I think this is good practice. I must say, I'm thinking now of the last three, four weeks in my journey back into the Airbus our design stable it's uh, it's been exciting it's been hectic trying to relearn the airbus way of doing things trying to get the controller sorted but i think it's so well worth it man i love it i really love it
slightly already. We don't want to end up in Russia somewhere. Turning base now. We almost at the Hotel Alpha Mike VOR, so I just want to turn quickly so we don't go too far and struggle on that ILS. It's daunting to try and fly that ILS uh, manually. I suppose I must just put some gas in when I talk. Yeah, we're almost on the localizer. Start out there. There we go. So much on that localizer, I'm not even looking. Speed check, flaps full. Come on, stop it. I'm not even looking at the glide slope. 1000. Hmm. Some excitement here at the end. And it's all my own game. Damn it. There you go. Spoilers armed, water break armed. I think let's do another one. We need to get uh, a little bit better than that. Let's go. It looks so good until a certain point and then you just know uh -uh, it's not going to be good there. Flaps three, flaps two. 
One thing I can tell you about this aircraft, guys, is you've got to fly it. There is no story about flying on the rails like we have with some other models. Damn it, this is this is something you've got to work on. You've got to fly it. Things happen fast, you've got to think fast and if you don't concentrate you forget things. I mean you concentrate but you're thinking of other things, concentrating on other things. My overall impression at this point in time is I must just relax a little bit more. I seem to just overreact a little bit on the pitch there. And the only way to fix that is practice. Over and over and over to some circuits. I won't bore you by showing you that, but I will definitely look at doing that offline. Turn.
see I'm even getting better intercepting that localizer. Amazing, amazing. How to get all the axes working together. Speed check, flaps full. Come on, Sky Medics, come on. 1000 Approaching 2 3 Wow, that is semi-perfect. Let's slow it down a little bit. Semi-perfect. 400. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Forget about the instruments. Get your eyes out. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Well, the vertical speed indication says two hundred and sixty one foot. Now I'm not going to argue with it, I just think it's wrong. Um, that looked almost as perfect as perfect can be for me with my eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys agree with me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, reverses are off and auto brake off. Let's get off this runway. Guys. What can I say? I just thought I had to make this little video for you guys just to show you some of my practice. I'm going to put up a stream at some point in time uh, with the jar design again and then hopefully I can take what I've learned and practice offline uh, onto the stream and Flaps give you guys a Flaps better impression two. of Flaps the landings. Zero. But if you stick with me long enough, you will obviously pick up as time goes by how I do practice and how Spoiler I do get arm. better. And I wish you the best of luck. Uh, my settings, just as a matter of interest, the current settings, which I find works much better in this kind of weather than the previous ones, is this one. We've got pitch at 35%, roll 75 and yaw at 100. Stability augmentation, as always, needs to be off. So... This is the big issue, the pitch. Uh, a roll is okay, but the pitch, you guys are gonna have to spend some time on that one. Um, move it to where you need it and enjoy this aircraft, guys. And I'll talk to you soon again. Bye-bye. 40, 30, 20.